it is shocking and I think that, that the shocking thing really is that we don't really have any laws at the moment that's, that can ensure the safety of victims of this kind of stalking. Um, hence the reason we have the consultation going through the House of Commons. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this kind of behaviour as well escalates very quickly. Um, and unfortunately, what happens is if this behaviour is allowed to escalate, it escalates rapidly. And of course, you know, it's deemed that, you know, this kind of behaviour is OK. So, um, you know, certainly we need to be tightening up the laws. The laws in this in this country, we're so slow at reacting to things that change around us environmentally. I mean, the internet, for instance, we're just so not there with the laws in terms of the internet. It's, you know, we need to start moving quicker. The way that we change laws as well, it's difficult to get things changed and moved, you know, and moved in an orderly fashion because of the way that we have to go through bills and get them signed off and go through the House of Commons. And, you know, again, the Home Office consultation that we've currently got through, going through the House of Commons has been put back another month. You know, it was meant to come to a conclusion at the end of January and it's now been the end of, uh, now it's the end of February. So, again, it's, um, you know, it's dragging things out for change. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the thing is, um, obviously, you know, if it starts off with that kind of behaviour, then often it can then become behaviour where they've they're have they turning up your, at your house. Um, and then, um, you know, that behaviour soon escalates in, and it's out of control. If we kind of nip this in the bud early on and deal with this behaviour very early on, then obviously the offender will realise... Uh, hopefully realise that this behaviour is not going to be accepted and there's laws stopping it and again we can address it early on before you know something something worse happens you know and people are attacked physically Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, currently what happens is the onus is on the victim to report incidents to the police and it's individual crimes that uh, are reported and they're dealt with as individual crimes. And so police are relying on the victims to report these um, offences uh, to them for them to act on. But then again, they're only dealt with individually. What the, what the serial register will do, the serial offender register, will mean that the the police can proactively identify and track and manage the offender rather than the actual victim having to make changes to their life, which currently, you know, for domestic violence victims, for example, you know, they're encouraged to go into a refuge, they're encouraged to leave their home, you know, and actually the focus is not in the correct way. We shouldn't be focusing on the victim. We should be focusing on the abuser and actually asking why are they doing this and what's going on with them? You know, that's key. Well, um, one thing that I will say is that we've got a charity, we're running the, uh, the marathon for the charity, so um, we really want runners to come and join us for the I Want My Mummy charity, iwmm.net. Oh, okay. Well, well, which one is that? The Coventry Marathon. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we've still got places left, so... Um, yeah, 